afternoon, soldiers. This is Sergeant SD, and I'm here with your final episode of Prayer Tactics. Last week, our general, Pastor Patrick J. Walker, gave us three points. And as you already know, there are always three. He taught us to pray with devotion to God's will, to pray with dependence upon God's power, and to pray with thankfulness. Let's take a look at a clip from our last session. Your weightiness and your heaviness, and I'm not saying that you don't go through a trial, that you don't go through a test, that you don't go through a tribulation, but, and, and all of us have moments when we are down. Yeah. Amen, somebody. All of us have season. You don't get so Holy Ghost filled, so saved that you don't have down moments in your life. But you ought to have an attitude that no matter what I'm going through, I'm still going to be thankful to God. If the Lord woke me up this morning, gave me strength to get to the house of the Lord, I am going to enter into his gates with thanksgiving. I'm going to come into his courts with praise. If I have to push it out, I'm still going to give it to God. If I got to push it out through my tears, I'm still going to give it to God. If I got to push it out through my pain, I'm still going to give it to God. Because my gratitude, my worship is not contingent upon what I'm going through. Amen, somebody. Join us this evening at 7 p.m. or stream us at www.tnmbc.org for the conclusion of It Happens After Prayer by Pastor H.B. Charles Jr. Excuse me. Sarge is a little emotional right now. I'm going to miss you guys, and I hope you miss the Sarge. But there's no time for crying because we are soldiers in a spiritual war. So stay alert and stay sharp, soldiers. Until next time, hoorah!